Today we're talking Mugler for H&M. Let's check out the latest collection. But before we get to it, let me just tell you a couple of things. They shot a music clip for it and um, it is posted to the H&M website. I think they also have it on YouTube. It's, it falls under fair use. We will be reviewing the video. However, we will not be listening to the original music because that falls under copyright. So the video, the music video, is part of the collection. It is literally the lookbook of the Mugler for H&M collection. For the occasion, I have also went to uh, the H&M website, and we're going to read about what H&M has to say about the Mugler collaboration before we start watching the video. But first, subscribe to my channel here on the tubes. If you haven't already, you can also, also push the join button next to the subscription button, become a member today and gain access to extra perks. You can also join me on Patreon. Super Dacobal spelled together there as well for extra perks. Thank you to my members and patrons who have already pledged. This video is being filmed live in front of a live virtual audience. So I have my chats on the side. Okay, so the H&M, the so-called H&M magazine on the H&M website says, Inside H&M, Mugler H&M, introducing an iconic new designer collaboration. All right. Uh, the house of Mugler is a transformational force in the fashion world, says H&M. Loved for its inclusive and boundary-pushing aesthetic. Inclusive? Hmm. Current Mugler, inclusive? How so? Now, in partnership with H&M, Mugler will be able to share its inspirational and daring style with even more fans. Right. Casey Cadwallader. 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 Yeehaw! Who has led the brand as creative director since 2018, has designed a dramatic... Oh my God, really? We have to read this text as if uh, Tom Ford... We're reading it because he loves the word dramatic. Casey Cadwallader, who has led the brand as creative director since 2018, has designed a dramatic and empowering collection that celebrates freedom, self-expression, and diversity, featuring a mix of stunning new pieces and signature Mugler looks, including several archive remakes. That was as far as Tom Ford goes. Um, okay, now here are the artists, and I cannot pronounce this name. Amare, Shy Girl, Earth Eater, and Arca worked with producer Ashland Mines to create an exclusive campaign anthem. A reimagined version of Stardust's 1998 hit music sounds better with you. The star-studded music video featuring a brilliant cast of icons, artists, and friends of the brand was directed by Torso and styled by Haley Wallens. We are proud to celebrate the legacy of Manfred Thierry Mugler with this collection, says Anne-Sophie Johansson, creative advisor at H&M. We were all honored to get to know Manfred, and it feels very special that he was involved at the initial stages together with Casey and the House of Mugler. Casey has done such an incredible job at paying homage to history and to the archive while making the collection totally contemporary. Under him, Mugler has become one of the most innovative and exciting houses of today's fashion landscape. Well, if this is the most exciting that the fashion landscape has to give, honey, we is in trouble. We is in heap deep, deep trouble. Mugler H&M will give fashion lovers a chance to own a piece of the brand's legendary history and become a part of its dynamic present. Hmm. Um, Cadwallader says, I was determined that this collection be true Mugler. Cadwallader told us, the details and quality of every piece had to be exactly as we do them. And I wanted to showcase the energy of Mugler, which has always been about clothes that allow for personal liberation. Hold on a minute. So what Casey's saying here is that basically he wants the quality and the ex execution of the clothes to be exactly the same like Mugler does them? Uh-huh. So, let me understand this. If I understand correctly, you're telling us that you're, you will be selling at H&M the same quality and designs that you would sell in your own boutiques? Uh-huh. But then, can you explain to me why the Mugler price tag is like 500 times higher 
than the price tag that the H&M pieces are going to have. Just can't, like, why? Sherlock Ness Monster says, yeah, no. Blue Bannister says, there's no way. And says, and ah, uh, oop. Jesus says, oopsie. Blue Bannister says, exactly. Why bother with real Mugler then, lol. Raquel Bain says, someone is lying in that press release. Good point, says Menachko. Geno says, no. Madame Morgan says, seems shady to me. Um, hey, don't shoot the messenger, y'all. I'm reading the lab chats, okay? So... You can be so many different versions of yourself in Mugler. How so when most of the stuff you're selling us is literally tights and stuff for dancing? It, it's like not all of us feel so comfortable in their bodies to shimmy and to shake. Now, more power to you if you feel comfortable in your body, no matter what shape it got. I sure as heck don't. So call me the prude. Oh, woe is me. Woe is me. Call me the prude, but honey. <laughs> Chad and Gabriel just said they sell hoe clothes. <laughs> oh, Janet. All right. Well, anyway, listen, y'all. Um, I'm really bad with all the names of all of these artists and stuff like that because, you know, they're not my cup of tea. But so I know Arca uh, because Jesus is always obsessed with Arca. And I know Earth... <laughs> called her earthworm earth eater um but uh i'm a ray shy girl i don't know so there's going to be a couple of people here that you whoever is watching this review is going to know who they are i'm just here for the clothes and i'm here for the history and heritage of teddy mugler let's just be very clear about this so you know you can use as many famous people as you want that doesn't make them models you're going to use famous singers or up-and-coming singers or youthful young singers, musicians, because you want to appeal to the young audiences. Yeah, I get it. It's a marketing move. That doesn't make me like a collection. I care about the clothes. So let's see the clothes. Um, all right. Let's see the video without sound. So I'll be talking over it. There's not going to be this music sounds better with you would be the original track that goes with it. Uh, we're not going to play the, the sound, obviously, so I'll just be blabbering on on top as we review the, the collection. Okay, now, remember a couple of weeks ago, I made a video saying, oh, H&M announced a collaboration with Muglea. Let's predict what they're going to show. Everything I predicted in that video came to fruition. I was right about every single bit, and I kind of scared myself there. But there you go. We'll go, we'll go. Um, so let's let's see. Let's watch the clip. So this is where the music begins. You know, music sounds better with you. This is uh, Earth Eater. And well, these are the other I'm a Ray and Shy Girl, I guess. And they're singing the song, recording it, whatever. Anyway, okay. Forget about the music. Let's look at the clothes. So it's it's the tight stuff. Like Janet said, whole clothes. That's Casey, the guy like inside with the white shirt being like, oh, like, yeah, we're hip. We're awesome. And then here you go. Huge M logo. A lot of skin. Again, if you're very comfortable in your body, more power to you. This to me is a little bit, you know, sure. Why not? Why not? Of course, tights, tights, tights. Uh, our Arca just flew down. Um, we're going to see some historic uh, moments as well with models. I mean, there you go. Maria Carla Boscono, by the way, she's aging like a fine bottle of wine. Not only black colorways, we just had a little teal moment. Here we have the historic moment. This is Muglea. Yes, she is gorgeous. Now, a little bit of history repeating. Love it. I wonder if these pieces are also going to be available. Probably not. But if 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 they were, that's okay. This jacket is kind of interesting that Casey is wearing. Why not? The little nipple moment, the little stars on the nipples. Sure, Arca is really not my cup of tea, but okay, let her, you know, whatever. Okay, so the clothes. Again, a lot of skin, a lot of skin, a lot of skin. Little vampire moment, bat moment, hanging upside down. Now, isn't it, I, I mean, am I reading too much into this? Why did they put the Asian model to be hanging upside down as a bat? Are we throwing shade at something that happened in 2020? Because not cool, Mugler, not cool. The only model that's hanging upside down is an Asian model. Seriously? 
Am I am I seeing too much into this? I'm probably seeing too much into this. Okay, I'll shut up about that. But okay, we got them singing, cameras turning, too much turning, upside down, flipping, flipping, flipping. Oh my god, the stadium, everything dancing, 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 choreography, choreography, choreography. So I watched this video. I watched the choreography. I watched the costumes that they're wearing, which is the clothes that they're going to be selling. Does this remind you of something? Did the choreography in that video remind you of something? Did the way that they inspired themselves? Because, honey, I did not see any, any mention of who the choreographer was. So I do not know if credit was not given because they stole something or if credit was not given because they paid the choreographer to not be mentioned. But what does this choreography and the styling remind you of? Well, it reminds me of, do you remember the Prancing Elite? Hit it. Let me show you the Prancing Elite, filmed way before the Muglea H&M ad campaign, by the way, just so that you know. Uh-huh. 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 So they've been around for 10 years, y'all. The Prancing Elite. They're fabulous. They are fabulous. And it kind of looks like Muglea copied this, huh? Hmm. One doth wonder. Uh, Muglea, did you actually pay them to choreograph your show? For the video clip, if so, great. If you haven't, maybe you should credit them. And if they did indeed, if they were indeed hired to do the choreography and got paid enough, then I take back what I said. But this seems awfully familiar to me. Wouldn't you say? The Prancing Elite, y'all. Raquel says they should have had the Prancing Elites do the commercial. I completely agree with you, Raquel. Prancing elites, prancing elites should have done the commercial. 10th anniversary. So they've been around for a while. Okay. So just saying. Okay. Just saying. And Tina says they are better. Of course they're better. They're much better. I'm not sure how to send. Uh, so. Minanya says, who are these ladies? I do not know them. They're looking amazing. Prancing elites. Ladies and gents, a mix of, of everybody, all genders, uh, they're reality show stars, really. There's, it's like a kind of a reality TV show, and they are reality TV show stars. And they dance together, and they're amazing. They're, they're really amazing. And I saw the Mugler for H&M ad, and I'm like, what? <laughs> this is some this okay so uh, let's go back to the text that uh, H&M would like to say about the collection that's innovative oh yeah Jesus the clothes are similar to well the clothes are dancing clothes I'm sorry you guys but when Teddy Mugler was alive the collections were not tights and clothes that you would wear to go, you know, exercising, uh, dancing before you go on stage uh, on Broadway for a chorus line, okay, or cabaret or whatever. But this Teddy Mugler was opulence, darling, his alien visions, his bug creatures, his the, transforming women into motorbikes and, and robots. I mean, we're talking Thierry Mugler. What Casey Cad Cadwallader is doing is just ja what, what Janet Gabriel said. Ho clothes, uh, you know. Yeah, current Mugler feels so watered down, says Blue Bannisters. Extremely watered down. And don't, listen, don't misunderstand me. I got nothing against hoes or sluts. I love them. Okay? Nothing against that. But as a proud slut myself, I can tell you this. If I'm going to do a little slutty moment... I don't need to spend $5,000 on a full-on outfit of, by, you know, Slut Central Mugla at the moment. I know where to go to get my slutty little outfits for the price that I think is right for a slutty little moment. And I love a slutty little moment. Don't get me wrong. But this is a little bit, maybe I want to call it slut appropriation. 
We've had cultural appropriation in the past. You know, it's a huge thing. Well, yes, I'm calling it here and now. This is slut appropriation. We have not been asking the sluts permission for the appropriation of their style. Our style, might I add. Raquel says they need to go to the archive for inspo completely. Jesus says it's literally shapewear and tights. Is it Mugler or Skims? Thank you. Now, do we have any other examples or are we done? Okay, we're done. We have a picture. Let me show you a picture. Okay, so here is the collection again. So we get to see a little bit of what's happening here. Maria Carla Boscono is right there. We got Casey Cadwallader. Sorry if I'm butchering your name, but then girl, whatever. Uh, this jacket, sure, interesting. But you know what? It could have been Marta Margiela. It could have been anything. It doesn't, you know. But what, girl, whatever. Bah. What's the next picture? This is so boring. Can't even. Yeah, the denim. Sure. Sure. Why not? You know, we always love a little denim moment. Always have. Always will love a little denim moment. I don't know. It's just... Uh, slutty can be really cool, you guys, if you know how to do it right. I would, listen, my dream... Oh, you want to know something? Coco Kitty says it's a blend of bland and unwearable. I completely agree with you. But but in the text, they say anybody can wear it. How can anybody wear this? Listen, let me tell you. If I were H&M, you know who I would hire to do a collection with? John Waters. If you want trash, and H&M should focus on what they're good at, trash, they should be doing a John Waters styling and creating a collection for them that would be a dream come true and i would buy every single piece because it would be honest this here is like turning like i said total respect to sluts and hoes nothing against them but it's like turning a, a fun slutty moment into some something like want to be elevated honey now this is what we were talking about before that uh, costumey attitude you see what i mean this kind of not being really honest with yourself. And it's it's lacking honesty to me. But that's just my personal opinion. The cropped denim blazer, Zara says, I liked it. Yes, I like it too. But I mean, sure. Y yeah. The model is gorgeous. But like, if we, if we just don't look at the model for a second, because obviously he's so handsome that he's detracting from <laughs> the clothes, right? So... But if we just try to focus on the clothes, you know, I would have actually preferred that the denim jacket be just one solid piece of denim because this particular stripe and line is going to make very clear that this is the H&M version of this jacket and it's... You don't want everybody to necessarily know that. So if you made it just one plain color in a year's time, it would be forgotten. It could just be a plain denim jacket it would be much better. Actually, I would prefer it to be plain with a special shoulder moment, but then plain so that I could pull it off as something that's not H&M in the future. Coco Kitty says the crop denim blazer could be just H&M for H&M. Oh, this little thing here. Well, there's a huge Muglea logo on it, but I mean, no, it's 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 cut a little bit. There's there's a, there's work that went into the cut, but anyway, it is what it is, you guys. Uh, this doesn't look good on anyone, says Jesus. It's specifically made for skinny people, inclusive my A Z Z, says Jesus. Exactly, and this is the text that we're reading from H and M directly. Um. We are proud to celebrate the legacy of Manfred Thierry Muglea with this collection, says Anne Sophie Johansson. Um, Casey has done such an incredible job at paying homage to history and to the archive while making the collection totally contemporary. Under him, Muglea has become one of the most innovative and exciting houses on today's fashion landscape. How is this innovation? Can somebody tell me where's the innovation here? Um, so anyway... Muglia H&M will give every fashion lovers a chance to own a piece of the brand's uh, legendary history and become a part of its dynamic present. I was determined that this collection be true Muglia. The details and quality of every piece had to be exactly as we do them. Again, that price difference between Muglia and H&M, Muglia, 
Like, how do you justify that? And I wanted to showcase the energy of Mugler, which has always been about clothes that allow for personal liberation. You can be so many different versions of yourself in Mugler. I don't see any variety here. How many different versions of myself can you see? What are those shoes? Are they selling shoes as well? I don't know. Are these are, are they going to sell these shoes as well? Are the are these are the pants going over the shoe? I don't know. I can't really see. I mean, they're going to bring out a catalog soon as well where you can see all the pieces in detail like what they're going to sell. I'm a little bit disappointed that I'm not seeing any bags cuz that would have been interesting to see. You know, a bag is a moment that I could say, you know what? I might get a if they do a denim bag Mugler for H&M, the bag collector in me might bite the bullet on that one. I might bite the bullet on that one. Okay, if they do a little cute, little cutesy denim bag, a little top handle moment, a little baguette let, a little tiny, you know, clutch let, I would, I, you know, mm, I get giddy. But this, no. Sorry. Sorry. It's don't do it to me. For me, it's don't do it, you know. But uh, yeah, we, we wonder what the price range is going to be. I think the jacket is probably going to, well, denim. I don't know. I'm thinking I want to say $300 for the denim jacket, which does not make it affordable for everyone. I'm just guessing here. Everything I say in this video is for entertainment purposes only. Not rooted in truths or facts. Everything's alleged. Okay. We're just speculating here. Um so the leather or pleather jacket is going to be 300 plus. So this particular pleather or leather, we don't know yet if it's leather or pleather, is going to be 300 plus dollars, uh, probably, for, for the jacket. Okay, so the denim jacket might be 250 to $300, probably. Anyway, Ma Madame Morgan says, hard pass for me. Carrie Fernandez, this whole thing is bizarre. Priestess Shakti says, uh, the one laying on her back in the middle. Cha. Oh, in the other photo. The um, the one in the middle is, I think, Arca, but I'm not so sure, you guys, because it's really far away from me. So anyway, let me know your comments in the, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Always curious to know what your thoughts are. Hey, I'm always very honest about these things. I mean, it is what it is. If you love it, you love it. I'm not judging you if you love it. If you love it, go for it. Be you. You do you, boo. Just uh, as much as you love it, uh, somebody might be out there that doesn't love it as much, you know. Are you going to buy it? Are you not going to buy it? Are you going to dig into it? Let me tell you the last bit of information before we say bye bye That would be save the date, H&M says. Mugler H&M launches globally at select stores and H&M.com on May 11th, 2023. Local release dates may vary. This video has not been sponsored. I made it because I'm interested in all this stuff. And... Um, but interesting to note that it's going to be available also online. So if you want these pieces, uh, yeah, best believe you got to stay awake all night and keep refreshing the tab. Keep refreshing the tab to uh, try to, well, whatever, buy this stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe to my channel. Thumb up the video. and Never give up on love.